It's Manby back with yet another video and today we are using a team made by one of my members. If you guys don't know what a member is for YouTube, that's basically like the Twitch equivalent of a subscriber. Um, this is a team made by Jesse. It is his rental code. Um, so we are using this team today for a video. If you guys want me to use your rental codes, of course, make sure to check out the membership perks down below. There's also other stuff including uh, extra video every week, which is really cool. But yeah, we got Jesse's team. We're gonna do our best to pilot it well. As you can see, it's a Yavel Tall team, Incineroar. And the t I'm I'm covering the Incineroar. I'm the cat. Um, yeah, pretty standard team. Um, if we run into uh, Thunderous, which is the sixth most popular Pokemon in the entire game, we will be in trouble because we don't have a whole lot of ways to deal with it. But we will try our absolute best. Um, so hopefully. We can figure that out. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and start searching for some games and let's get straight into it. But yeah, thank you, Jesse, for being a member. And yeah, I appreciate I appreciate it. All right, here we go. All right, we got another opponent, King Yveltal. I wonder what they're going to have. Oh my god, they have a Yveltal. And they, oh my god, this team is ridiculous. Um, I actually think, again, the Reggie Lucky combo is quite nice. The Alga is definitely a pain, but I have Eerie Impulse, so I think we're fine. So we go with Yveltal. We actually get to go with our best Pokemon, Zacian, this time. So we got that going for us. Now, do we want Rilla or Insin? Or the Lando? Lando's not bad. I hate it a lot, but they have one, two, three Ground Weeks and one Rock Week. So that's cool. I think I'd go with... Okay, right, we're gonna trust you, Lando. If you choke and we lose, it's your fault, and I hate you forever. Okay? Okay. So hopefully, we got this. Alright. Let's see what they got. King Yavelli. Alright, if we see Diago, we Eerie Impulse it and laugh. Uh, the problem would be if they have a Pokemon that goes by the name of Incineroar. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now I guess the one problem here that could be not fine is if they um, have Focus Sash. Now, a way to get around that, and it's not a good play, but I might go for it anyway. Because normally Max Darkness would just kill this gelatin, right? But I can go for a giga bad play. See, the thing is, they're going to have Dialga anyway. You know what? This is fine. We're going to go for it. Alright. If we lose... If we lose... On this play... And that's just unfortunate. Alright, I'm hoping they go for Fake Out over onto the Reggie Lucky. Alright, sweet Dynamax. Because I think their play here is to click Fake Out and Trick Room. And if I stop Trick Room, then they have no Trick Room. Obviously, I would love to click Max Darkness because it would just one shot Jellicent, but I think they have Focus Sash if they're gonna leave something this bad against my team. So we'll see. We will see. <sighs> Alright, this is why Pokemon's bad. That's why it's not a competitive game, because you can go for something stupid. I go for a read, and for some ungodly reason, they fake out the Aveltal, which was the absolute dumbest play you could have ever gone for in the entire world. Because if I Dynamax the Aveltal, like everyone would, then I get a Max Darkness on you, and you just lose. But, here we are. Alright, I might have Dark Pulse over on this. Let's see what they go for. It's just dumb. 50 50s aren't skill, it's just luck based. And if you want to play a game where you're just like, eh, flip a coin, you can actually, instead of logging on to Pokemon.com, you can actually do something better, and it's called flipping a quarter. And this is, you'll have the same thrill of winning 50 50s. Alright, now, Insin probably dies to this, so at least we've killed two Pokemon. Don't have our Focus Sash anymore, unfortunately. Diago's gonna come in and one shot everything. But, can't be mad because we flipped a quarter and we didn't get it. Alright, Yveltal comes in. And Dialga, of course, they got both. 
Okay. Now I would love to save the thing for the Evolt Hall later. So we're gonna actually switch into the landers here. Um, now I don't know really what to do with this guy, so I'm gonna click Oblivion Wing over on here. There's no point to click Protect, I don't think. We just need to install the Trick Room, which is gonna be impossible with the amount of Protects I have on this team. None. I mean, Lucky does. But, yeah. Alright, Landers. Do Dynamax might most likely the Dialga. We'll see. I think we still have three turns of Trick Room, so this is gonna end badly because Dynamax is just gonna one shot all my Pokemon because it's a really good mechanic. But it doesn't one shot uh, focus that Pokemon, so that's pretty cool for my opponent. They do max Quake, so that's a very good turn for us. Um, the Oblivion Wing something. Of course it kills me. Hmm. Protect would have been better. Now I do have this protect here, which is good. Hey Loki, want to just attack? <laughs> They've already gone for one really bad read, so we'll see. I might just attack here. So they're like, oh, it's a Zacian that's going to protect. And plus, I need to stall two turns anyway, so I have to risk one turn no matter what. So let's click Rock Slide, and we're gonna Behemoth Blade here, right? All right. Max Hailstorm, got him. I have to go for the read because they're bad at the game. Bad players go for 50% reads 100% of the time. All right. So now we get to punch a Yveltal with a Behemoth Blade. Now, I probably could have played Play Rough, but I didn't want to miss. Oh my god, if they flinch me. Actually, it doesn't really matter if they flinch me. Yeah, it's definitely better for me, but... Okay, they should put it in... Electroweb range. Yep. Or Rising Voltage. Whichever you prefer. <coughs> Okay, now I just click Protect, Protect, Live Both, and as long as they don't have Sucker Punch and kill my um, Reggie Lecky, then we'll be okay. Honestly, even if they do. Alright, let's see if we can still win this. <laughs> oh, we need the Yveli to die. It's gonna die to two hails at least, which is really good, so even if it sucker punches me. Honestly, I could go for Eerie Impulse too. We'll see. Because then Diaga shouldn't be able to kill me. Which would be hilarious. And I don't get killed by sucker. He actually max dragon. Definitely not good for us. Almost kills us. <laughs> but it's okay. I think it's okay. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Fine, they over Dark Pulse. Why are they clicking Dark Pulse? I couldn't tell you. Okay, so Yveltal dies. We know Yveltal dies to one hail, right? So I'm gonna go for Eerie Impulse just to avoid the Sucker Punch here. It'll, it should die at the end of this turn, unless it Dark Pulse is my Dialga. Unless it Dark Pulse is me again. See, this is a really annoying 50-50. Okay, I don't know. They've clicked Dark Pulse. I could hope that they don't have Sucker Punch, but I really don't know. <laughs> it's such a dumb 50-50. <sighs> so triggered. Um, I think I go for Eerie Impulse. I'm gonna do it. Now, do I go for the Yveltal is the question. I'm gonna go for Sacred Sword. I'm gonna go for my play. Honestly, they might be Weakness Policy too, so it might be a bad play. They actually Sucker Punch. Okay, so that's really good. Now, if they're not Weakness Policy... If they're not weakness policy, maybe we can win. Now, if they're weakness policy, I probably lose because I'm just gonna boost their attack right back up. It's not. Okay, so we just need to live this and we win. Oh, I'm goaded! 
Imagine that. You make this an absolutely terrible... You see why bad, these are bad players? Let me explain it to you. You had, First of all, you went for 15 freaking reads the entire game. You got the most important one, which was to get up Trick Room, and you still lose the game. What if, instead of playing a really bad team like this, you play a team that's more consistent, where you don't have to go for a hard read, hard read, hard read, hard read, just to get an advantage on your opponent, um, and you can win more games, instead of going for hard read, and, and if it doesn't work out, you lose. Because I won even with his dumb, stupid reads. Um... Yeah, see, basically turn one, I saw what a player he was, a bad one, and then I was able to go for the Zacian play because I knew he was going to go for a terrible read, and I won the game because of it. So, your, your, your consistent trash style that can win you games because Dynamax is the worst mechanic to ever touch the face of Pokemon is not consistent, and that's why I call you bad, because you're bad. Alright, on to the next. Alright, trainers have been found, we're finding games insta-fast. Dookie, nice name, 612. We're actually finding really good opponents. Okay, uh, this is scary. One, because they have the Pokemon I mentioned. That's the Thunderous. Uh, so that's really bad. They also have Tailwind, which is really bad. And this is definitely the most Rillaboom game ever. Now, the problem with that is Thunderous just wins. Thunderous just wins. Okay, um... How do we beat <laughs> Thunderous? If I go Landorus... Okay, I have a really bad play. But we're gonna try it. Like, it's really bad. But we're gonna try it. We'll see what they leave. Um, do I want Instant? No, because I don't have a Dark Move, so we go Yabellifall. Right? Yeah. Okay, I have a really bad idea, and it might not work, but it might work. So we're going to try it. Okay? Okay. So now their goal, for those who don't know, is going to be to kill my Rillaboom, because Rillaboom poops on their um, Kyogre. So if they have, if they lead Thunderous, plus something else, like a Kyogre, they're not going to let Kyogre die. They're going to try to max Airstream me, right? So there's the Thunderous. We're going to give it plus one. They actually go Insin. Uh, we do have the White Herb, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, so we have the absolute perfect play here. They get plus one. Yes, very bad. I understand. Um, they're going to click Max Airstream. Yes, I understand. Also very bad. But watch my play. I, I have calculated this play. So what we're going to do is... Because they're 1 billion percent Max Airstreaming my right side. 1 billion percent, right? And even if they don't, I should live. Oh my god. <laughs> I get to explain my entire play because 15 effects has have happened. Um, there's the White Herb, which is really nice here. Now watch and learn. Now we click Max Airstream into Thunderous. We hard switch into Zation. That way, if they're Assault Vest, if they're Assault Vest Thunderous, um, if they're Assault Vest Thunderous, they won't be able to Max Guard, and um, Behemoth Blade should be able to kill the Thunderous. Um, well, depending on how much Max Airstream does, we might have to double it, just because it's a kind of a big problem here. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hey, Zation comes in. Now I go for Max Airstream so I can, because it's going to click Max Airstream, I want my Zation to be faster. So we go for that. Um, we get that going for us. They hard swap the Ensign. People normally do. They actually go into Gastrodon. I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, they do go for the Dynamax, as one would expect. Now, if Max Airstream can actually do enough damage to put it in Behemoth Blade range, that would be ideal. Um, it might not, just because it's resisted. However, the Mental Herb is quite nice. Now, the second problem we have now is they have the um, Insin able to be switched back in. So we gotta keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so we're gonna Dynamax here. Either way, if we get rid of the Thunderous, we're, we're kind of happy. Um... Because we got the tools to be able to beat it. We have the Rillaboom still, that's the big thing here. And if they're forced to switch an Ensign here, then that's really good. So, here we are, big big cat. But there's a lot of things at play here. The Thunderous is still the biggest problem. We need to get rid of it, so we can use our... Well, we don't have Double Intimidate this game, but we need to use our Pokemon how they're meant to be used. They do go for Max Airstream. Into the Thunderous spot! I'll take that! That's an unnecessary read, and it's actually really beneficial for us. Okay, so we do take damage here. We go for the max air. Now, how much does it do? Not enough to put it in range, unfortunately. However, I can double it. 
And I think I do. I think I double it. Now I'm gonna actually click Rockfall this time. Because getting the weather up is actually kind of broken. Because, um... Yeah, this is instant, but this is fine. Um, there's no way they're one-shotting my Zacian here. Um, this is fine because Rock... Well, we can break the Sash of one Calyrex. However, if they have Ogre, then throw that out the window. But we do get to go for a Behemoth Blade here, which is nice. So here we go. Get him. Ah, I rock balled, right? Yeah. That'll kill. Now they're gonna get the max airstream me first, but who... Okay, they actually airstreamed. I, I really don't care if Lando dies. I have a full health station. So that's awesome. Um, and we will kill it here, the rock ball. Okay, so the biggest threat is Dayun. Um, I would say, I don't know if my play worked. Now, if Ginson had stayed in turn one, turn one, then it would have been a lot better for us. Um, however, they made a good switch turn one and got the got the Ginson back in, um, which is okay. We're now both minus one. Actually, Zacian's neutral because it's broken. Broken, um, but that's fine. We got rid of their Dynamax. We actually still have one more turn of our Dynamax, which is really good. Not only that, but we can click something like a Max Airstream, which is really nice. Or a Max Quake. Um, so we'll see how that goes for us. Um, we can also click Protect here on one, one Zation, which is really nice. Do I have another power, power header? I do. I actually have Yveltal. See, they go Calyrex. This is fine. Now, if they're Scarf Calyrex, we just forfeit the game anyway, because we were going to lose. Um, especially because my Ensign doesn't have a Dark Oath. Actually, we have Yveltal, so it's not really over. But we just click Max Quake here. Right, because we're faster. What is this? This is plus one, that's fine. You're also plus one, that's fine. So now we click Max Quick. Max Quick into you, and we click Protect. Uh, basically, we're sacrificing our Dynamax here, but we're putting a lot of pressure on their Calyrex and breaking a potential Focus Sash. Now, please, to God, don't be Scarfed. If it's Scarfed, then we cry. We cry. We cry. But we'll see. We will see what they go for. <laughs> Breaking the Sash is big. Um, Zation protects. Obviously, I don't want to get faked out. Let's see it. Oh, they do go for the fake out. Awesome. That means that it's not going to do. It's not going to pivot. Which pivoting into something like a Kyogre would have been really bad here. But we actually do get the quick. They don't even protect. So there we go. That's awesome because now Zation gets that boost, which is really good. Um, now they are going to get a boost of their own, but again, my Zation is faster because I got the plus one. So they are going to kill me with After Barrage. That's fine. Now, the biggest problem is this Ensign. How do I deal with the Ensign? That is the problem. Now, I gotta think. What's my fourth Pokemon? I have one more. I gotta have one more Pokemon, right? Okay, they get the grenade boost. That's fine. Oh, their Life Orb. Okay. But still, getting a Quick Boost is really nice anyway. I kind of have a play I would like to go for, honestly. No matter what happens here. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I'm going to belt all. Oh, I have Rillaboom. Perfect. Oh, that's goaded. Because now the thing's in grassy glide range. I just need the grassy terrain to go away so I can come back in and win. Um, yeah. We've played this. We've played this bad matchup about as well as we can. So this is good. Two turns of grassy. Alright, we, we can live that long. So now what we're going to go for is the read. Um, we're going to Oblivion Wing and Sacred Sword here. It's not necessarily a read because I have the plus one on the Zation. Zacian um, can live anything from the Calyrex. Yeah, it's not necessarily a read. It's just like a smart play, I think. Um, but we have to hope this kills here. But this is a neutral. Yeah, an Oblivion Wing should do that, unless it's Citrus. Thank you. Um, so that probably wins me the game. Yeah, that wins me the game, because now Calyrex can't protect. All we have to do is survive one turn, really. Because Rillaboom can come in after this next turn and kill the Ogre. Literally... As good as you can play a bad matchup, my friends. I don't even know. I don't even know what to tell you. I don't even know what to tell you. I don't know how to tell you. I played... I, I couldn't have played it any better. Yeah, so say they don't protect there and they click Astral Barrage. Oh, they have Gastrodon. I forgot. Um, Say they don't click Astral Barrage. Or say they do click Astral Barrage. Um, Zacian lives that. We're plus one. And uh, even though it's Live Orb, it does do a lot of damage. But we live. Alright, so now, pretty easy. We just click Dark Pulse. And we can click Behemoth Blade. Now they could double protect, but it's okay. We have Rillaboom, like I get. Like I said, Rillaboom wins the game. Battle's cancelled. Boom!
Okay, we have found an opponent. Rank 2,321. Um, oh no. <laughs> Alright, we got a surf, we got a surf spam team here. And by that I mean Dragapult's gonna spam surf. How does one deal with that? We can definitely click, um, the Electro Web, which is nice. Yes, they could still get the surf. Um, however, yeah, I think this is still a good lead. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just leave the broken lead and just, yeah. Um, we'll be happy. Now, it might actually live, but I think I should be alright. Alright, let's do this. So we'll go these two, and if they go, if they go, um, with, you know what, we still have Lando too. Um, we actually, double, double intimidate might be nice here. Um, low key, Zacian doesn't seem that good here, but I, I'm gonna bring it anyway, because it's Zacian. You know what, I'm gonna bring in Sin. I'm not bringing Zacian. I'm the greatest player who's ever played, so, uh, we're gonna do that. I see a Ditto, I just don't want to deal with uh, a third restricted Pokemon here, especially when my restricted's really not that good. Um, so we're going to double intimidate, spam everything to death once we kill this Ho-Oh. So the goal is to kill the Ho-Oh, um, that's what we're going to do. So we'll try to kill the Ho-Oh. I don't even think plus two Ho-Oh can even kill <laughs> Yveltal, but we're going to find out. Uh, they lead it. Uh, we just click Electroweb and Max Darkness, I think, and call it a day. Um, yeah, the Dragapult might be annoying, but it's going to be clicking Surf. The only, the, I guess the most annoying thing here is the Surf is going to break my Lucky Sash. But here we go. Brainless and Brainless. Yeah, Max Darkness. This is good. Uh, they shouldn't be able to get any speed here, which is good. Um, yeah, we just, click, we just click buttons. Now, the now if the Dragapult was really good, um, they would click something like a Light Screen here. If they click Light Screen, that would be goaded, because I'm going to click Electro, electro Web and give them the Weakness Policy anyway. Honestly, I could totally make a, 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 a great Dragapult team here, but they hard switch the Dragapult, the most, the, the least scared Pokemon there. They actually go into one Groudon, so they're going to boost the Sun. That's actually uh, an equally as good play, I would say. Well, um, I mean, if they don't have Light Screen, it's a better play. But if in this way, they get the Sun Boost, um, which is really, really good for them. Um, but I'm okay with this. This is actually okay with me because because they don't click Surf, I actually. Um, keep my focus sash, which is actually quite good. Not only that, but Max Darkness is going to help next turn. So even if we trade, if I my Yveltal dies and their Ho-Oh doesn't, um, it's still okay for me because I will be able to kill their Ho-Oh next turn. And if they Max Guard and click Precipice Blades, then it's only going to hit. Um, it's only going to hit my guy anyway, which is really really good. It's only going to hit my um, thing because I'm going to have um, the what's it called? That one legendary Pokemon, the, uh, the 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 ground dirt guy. All right, so the Dynamax. Um, we click Electroweb, we connect, um, does a, does a respectable amount of damage. Yeah, they're gonna get the weakness policy, sure, sure, sure. But we're gonna do a lot of damage in the process. Um, the one bad thing is Ho-Oh's Spideff is quite good, for those who don't know. And I guess one thing that's also good here is we actually get the Max Darkness drop over onto, um, them. Um, wow, that thing ate. Um, that's bad, but the Max Darkness drop does really help. Considering how much Electroweb does, I think... Rising Voltage will kill. Um, yeah. Now they probably kill me with a Max Flare, and that's okay. You know, yep, it's fine. Good. See, that thing is trash. Alright. Now we click Rising, but this is easy. Yeah, see, that's the bad thing about Ho-Oh. It's just bad. Uh, now we just click Max Darkness. Actually, I kind of want to click Max Airstream here. It is minus one. Um, yeah, I'm going to click Max Airstream here in case they Max Guard. Um, yeah. we're in a, I think we're in a much better spot. I want to click Max Airstream, just so I'm faster than the uh, Dragapult. Um, they actually hard swap the Ho- oh wow. What's this going to be? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Now, the one thing- that's Gastrodon. No, it didn't. Okay, I'll take that. Now I kind of wish I had ma Max Darkness. Actually, no I don't. No I don't. This is fine. Um, they do get the Intimidate. Just grab on Protect. It is minus one, so it's going to take a lot of damage. Rising Voltage. We're going to find out if it's AV right now. Um, okay. Now we're gonna find out if this is AV or not. Uh, it is absolutely, unequivocally not Assault Vest. Okay, so the... Now, dying here is okay. Dying right here is okay to the Life Orb, because they're gonna fake me out anyway. Um, so we'll see it. Yeah, it's okay. Um, now we have to deal with Incin, yes. Um, I just have... I only have... Yeah, we have to deal with Incin. Okay, uh, that's fine. Now, how fast are you? I don't want to go Lando here, even though I do have the White Herb, because I can get faked out. So that's something I don't want to deal with. 86 speed. Okay. Ooh, the, ooh. I like that spread. We're going to go into this. Um, we know they have Dragapult, which is good. I really hope I have a Dark Attack. 
Um, I don't know who's instance faster, but I'm gonna click protect over on my left side anyway. It is the Dragon Bolt. Cool. So I'm gonna go for a dark move over there. Um, yeah. Now we do know they have the Ho-Oh, but I have a Pokemon that does very, very well into Ho-Oh, if you don't know, and that is the boy. Um, so we have Electro with Eerie Impulse. Okay, we're obviously looking for a here. I'm going to click, uh, a... No! Uh, I don't want Taunt. I, I hate no dark move. Alright, I'm gonna click Flare Blitz into, uh, into this monster. Uh, that sucks. Now I have, I don't have as many ways to get rid of Dragon Bolt now. If I had a dark move... Uh, Thunderbolt or Rising Voltage would have probably been able to pick up after a dark move. So that sucks. But yeah, they go for the big guns of the Reggie Lucky. Fine. Um, let's see. Well, I, I won't get to see you faster here. They actually go for a Dragon Darts, which is a little unfortunate because it hits both into Incineroar, but Incineroar is a tank. So it tanks it pretty well. I'll take that. I don't have a berry. I am safety goggles. Uh, but I am a little. Un I'm. It's not good. Okay. Why do I feel like... We traded Pokemon, but I feel like I'm outmatched here. Hold on. These are their last Pokemon, so they don't have Ditto. Okay. Cool. Now, I gotta be very careful. I can't click anything too gravy. I kinda want a Rising Voltage. I can't Electro Web and Flare Blitz. Yeah, I can do that. We're basically giving up our instant to kill the Dragapult. I don't know if it's worth it, but we're gonna find out. I actually hard swap the Dragapult. This is a Ho-Oh, so it's gonna take an Electro Web. That's nice. Yes, it's going to gain a lot of health back, but I think it's okay. Okay, we get that. That's actually really good. Oh my god, that's really good. Okay. That's really good. The only thing is I can't click Earthquake. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we we'll go for Flare Blitz. Good. Let's see what they go for. Burning Shot? Oh, so close. That's good damage, Ensign. You did, you did, you did what you do. Um, they go for a Flare Blitz. Is that gonna be into me? Ah, okay, cool. They're gonna take a lot of recoil here. That's really good. Wow, they didn't even get me down. Oh my god. I have a nice Electro up here. Yeah, this is great. We just click Electro up again. Uh, I'm gonna click Flare Blitz over into the Ensign slot just in case it doesn't die from an Electro Web. <laughs> oh, I clicked my, kicked my Charger. Nothing happened. Okay, this is good. This is good because we still have a Lando. Lando should be able to 1v1 all these boys. Um, they don't have any priority moves. If they do switch out the Ho-Oh, um, if they switch out the Ho-Oh, it does gain a lot of health back, but they're not killing Reggie Lucky if they do that. That's why I'm putting the pressure onto the Ensign. And if Electro Web kills, then we do get to Flare Blitz the uh, Dragapult again, which is nice. We only know it has Dragon Darts, though. Um, so if it's faster, it could be annoying. So they do protect, so that is good. Um, do we Electro Web? Bing. Sparkle, sparkle. Okay, Electro Web. Uh. And we don't get the knockout, but that is why I used my galaxy brain here, right? And clicked Flare Blitz. And guess what? Now the Ho-Oh can't switch out, which is amazing, and it's also really slow. So we got that going for us. Um. Okay. And then does take the recoil. The sun is gone. That's better for me. Now the Ho-Oh is almost a non-threat in a way. In a way, it's a non-threat. Now, if they're Scarf Dragon Darts, I probably lose, no matter what, because I can't figure it out. Uh, maybe not. If um, yeah, we're gonna click Electro Web and Flare Blitz again. I can't Parting Shot. I can really only attack. Um, yeah, and that's my fault. That's my fault for thinking it didn't have Sucker Punch. I should have Flare Blitz the Ho Oh. Oh, okay, Earth Powers. Um, can I live that? I think I can. Okay. Well, it's not not terrible. They crit me. I don't know if it really mattered. It might have mattered. Um, now I have to win. Problem is... <sighs> okay, they're special. Oh, okay. I think I can win this. I click Earthquake. Now, hear me up. They're special Ho-Oh. They sh probably don't have Sacred Fire. Which means they can't probably burn me. So I'm going to click Earthquake here and hope it kills the Dragapult. Um, yeah. Now, Dragon Darts just might do too much damage, but we're gonna see. Yes, they protect there, so that's nice. Okay, so now they should be in rock fall damage. <gasps> no! Okay. Still winnable. We'll see. Let's see how much damage we do. Okay, the thing is, Dragon Darts is gonna do too much damage, is my guess. We'll see how much Earthquake does. Oh, boy. 
Okay, I think I go for the rock fall here now. Rock slide here. Rock slide into earthquake and hope we live. I don't think we're going to. Or do I go for an earthquake here and I have to crit? <sighs> now that we crit this, I don't think I'm living four dragon darts. Yeah, there's no way. Oh my god. Oh! Maybe? Uh, I might. It's gonna be painfully close. <sighs> Please live this. I didn't pay attention to see how much it did, but we click earthquake. Let's see it. Please live. 65. No way. God dang it. What a stupid loss, man. So dumb. Freaking Dragapult, because it can't. <sighs> this is why you put dark moves on your Incineroar. If you like winning games, you put dark move on Incineroar, it hits the stupid types that can't get hit by fire, and then you win video games instead of clicking Flare Blitz for 14%. Oh. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back with more videos again. If you want me to use your rental code and show off how to win your bad matchups, there it is. So that was good. I feel like I should have won all the games. Still tilted. Anyway, that's it. That's going to be it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We're out of here.